Hello, it's David from Beastie Geeks. Thanks to the Lucky Duck games, we had a chance to try the core retail version of Tank Garden. A quite unique uh, tile placement or like ducks call it zen-like game where you embody Chinese architects building together a magnificent garden yet competing in the eyes of the nobleman visiting the construction. Although Tang Garden has not changed our lives entirely, we are very glad to have it in our collection. Let's stand some gardens and check why it's worth your time. Let's start with the most obvious. Tang Garden looks outstanding. It's one of the most amazing games we have ever seen. From the box cover to the single game element, everything here is cohesive with a beautiful art and style. Play some Zen Far Eastern music in the background and there is no way you're not immersed in the world of the Tang Dynasty and its gardens. I can't recall any game using cardboards in such a clever way. We have tiles representing the ground elements, we have decorations with 3D trees and awesome pavilions, and we have my favorite landscape tiles we can plug into a main board, giving extra popped out feeling and closing the garden in a beautiful frame. And placing all of those elements will affect your score within the game, so it's strongly connected to the gameplay. All components together with insert and over 10 each of them unique miniatures are of great quality. Everything here gives a wow factor when you look at this. Building a garden is such an enjoyable activity by itself in Tank Garden that we caught ourselves trying to put decorations and landscape to make our garden more charming and more pleasant to the eye without tracking how it would influence our score. This game deserves an official co-op mode, so it's good that a new expansion named Seasons will add this possibility as well. I can easily see how gamers use Tank Garden as a trap to lure their non-board gamer partners to get into BG World. I can see parents playing this with kids. I can see game as a beautiful gift replacing Catan in the shopping cart. But Tang Garden is also a bit expensive for a gateway game. Although price is justified by the components, advanced players can have a problem paying 50 bucks for a rather simple game, where layers of deep strategic decisions are replaced by a beautiful theme. Chaos expansion seems to rise the complexity, so if you want to make this game more strategic, you should consider getting them as well. Detailed icons match the Chinese theme perfectly, but at the same time they are too detailed and too small to serve as intuitive iconography. First session can be a shock to your eyes and brain, and although developers framed icon with circles in specific colors, it's still not enough to understand icons properly from the very beginning. With time this could be no problem at all, but gateway games should have this solved better. Rulebook should be more precise and detailed. Some things that developers think are obvious should be written here too. Two times we had to check our assumptions on Board Games Geek forum to be sure if we play game correctly. This becomes even more problematic because there are no player's aids in the core box. Every game, especially Gateway 1, needs such aids. Is Tank Garden unique? Yes. Is Tank Garden worth trying? Definitely yes. Is it worth having in the collection? It depends on your expectation, but remember, Tank Garden is solid, amazingly good looking game. It's all for today. See you at the next game.